first order of business today, we're going to be uh, pitching ideas for some holiday mascots. You know, some fun, zany characters for the kids so uh, we can milk their parents dry their hard-earned holiday bonuses. Uh, let's start with an easy one. Christmas. Uh, who wants to go first? Any takers? Uh, Gerald, do you have a pitch for us? You know, if no one else wants to go, I mean, I've, I've got a few ideas myself. Um, all right, so... What if there was an old fat man every night before Christmas comes down your chimney, breaks into your house, eats your milk, drinks your cookies? Gerald, 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 I, I just got to stop you right there. I don't, I don't think we want our mascot of the season of giving to be a, a, a petty thief. Oh, don't worry about it. He's, he's there to leave presents for the kids, unless they're naughty, of course. In that case, he, he leaves them a big old, a big old lump of coal. Uh, we're, we're trying to market to children here. I don't think they're going to respond well to an old fat guy. What? Are you, are you kidding me? Kids are going to light up for miles to sit on this guy's lap. Uh, okay, Gerald. I think we've heard more than enough from you, so I, I, why don't we bounce back to this one later? Um, let's let's pick a new topic for now. Um, St. Patrick's Day. Anybody anybody got an idea for St. Patty's? Ooh, ooh, over here, over here. I got, I, got a good, I, got, I got a good one. I got a good one. I guess we'll just hear from Gerald again. Tiny little green man. That's right. It's a little tiny guy, like bad that big. He's he's a little little angry angry green guy. Likes to hoard gold. Puts at the end of a rainbow. What drugs does this guy take? <laughs> yeah, look at him. He's, he's just a little little green guy. Any other pitches for St. Patrick's Day? Anyone? Anyone? No. Get your ass, Gerald. Okay then. Um, angry green man. It is. <laughs> um, okay. New topic. Valentine's Day. Anybody? Let's let's get some let's get some new people in for this. Three thing. words: naked, flying, baby. You've got to be kidding me. He flies around. He shoots people in the butt with a bow and arrow. You know what, Gerald? I've heard a lot from you today, and I think it's about time we get some new perspectives. Wait, 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 wait. Actually, I I, th I think you're gonna like what I have for Easter. All right. <laughs> I'm starting to doubt your judgment. So so th so there's this bunny, right? Oh, you know. That's actually not a terrible idea. Yeah, yeah, but, but there's a twist. Uh, of course there is. He poops eggs. Let's take a commercial break. Hi, can I get a uh, shamrock shake, please? I apologize, we don't have a shake machine. Has this ever happened to you? Did you miss your chance at a shamrock shake because of faulty machinery? Well, did you know you can make a shamrock shake in the comfort of your own home? All you need are two scoops of ice cream, one box of Lucky Charms, two cups of shamrocks, but honestly, your garden variety clover works just as well, two squirts of mint toothpaste, one bottle of Guinness, and one shamrock shake from McDonald's. They're pretty much identical. You can't even taste the difference. And if you do, it's probably because ours is just slightly better. Homemade shamrock shakes. Make it in your home today. Martin Luther King Day. I don't think this holiday needs a mascot. I think we should focus more on honoring the legacy. Oh, a walking, talking power line. Okay, Gerald, you know what? You seem very anxious to get all your ideas out on the table. So why don't we just do that? Why don't you just give me everything you got rapid fire and uh, then you be quiet for the rest of the meeting and we'll all discuss our own ideas like civilized people. Sound good? Sounds good to me. New Year's Day. String bean that can talk to ghosts. Groundhog Day. Cement mixer, filled with cinnamon, but it has ram horn presidents did. Uh, There's Carl, the friendly neighborhood gas station attendant, who has a pet hamster and a pig like April Fool's Day. Arby's. Did you just say Arby's? You know the you know the how the restaurant Arby's has that like hat logo? So I'm thinking we just do Arby's. Not 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 the logo, just just the the entire thing. Just just Arby's. That is not a mascot. That is a chain of restaurants. And I don't think we have the rights to do that. But 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 think about how much business Arby's would get if, if April 1st was, was Arby's Day. And how is that supposed to benefit us in any wait, why am I questioning this guy? Earth Day. Uh, a half open pack of horseradish. Arbor Day. Uh, a fedora that wears a man as a hat. Cinco de Mayo. A uh, bullet time chowder. It thinks it can sing, but it probably shouldn't. Mother's Day. A giant ear made out of all the earlobes of all the former U.S. presidents. Memorial Day. Wait, are you just making this up as we go along? No. Black Day. A, a blue raspberry, and it's, it's not in color, but just pretend that it is. Father's Day. 
the Invisible Man flavor day. It's a snarash. It's half snail and half giraffe. Halloween. The entire state of Illinois. Veterans Day. A cowboy stegosaurus on a magic carpet. Thanksgiving. A socially anxious street lamp. And Boxing Day. A box that wears boxers and boxing gloves. You're fired. Fine. Guess I'll just take my ideas somewhere else. Infinity and beyond!